Rabbits are great pets to have if you take care of them correctly, but if you have a good amount of experience with rabbits, can that reflect on you? It depends. For example, in real life situations, I will sometimes twitch my nose. Sometimes I do this to people I know as a joke, but there have been times where I have done this unironically and only notice when people point it out. But this could be dismissed as a one-off thing since most people, even if they don't have experience with rabbits, would associate twitching noses with rabbits because it's a quirk that's specific to them. If you have a rabbit, it will likely reflect on you as being compassionate because you are making a commitment that most people aren't willing to make, but you could also make the argument that other pets can also be a big commitment. On the opposite side of that scenario, some people may show compassion towards animals, but be horrible to people. That is very possible. So in that scenario, it doesn't necessarily reflect on someone as being compassionate, but regardless of that, rabbits are still overlooked and rare. So that in of itself is a contributing important factor in determining whether or not having a rabbit reflects on you. For example, one time when everyone in my cooking class all found out that I had a rabbit, which was at the time Sandy, a bunch of girls went aww at the same time but none of the guys said anything, and that's because of the social stigma. For girls, it's normal to say ah, but for guys, it may not be accepted depending on who they are surrounded by. Regardless, those girls likely perceive me as being gentle and kind compared to other guys by default. Think about it. If a guy had a cat or a dog, from those girls' perspective, typical. Doesn't really mean much in terms of reflection on the guy, but rabbits are such a big commitment spoken most accurately by how much attention it drew to me. One of those same girls that said ah said that she has a cat but prefers dogs, and that teacher asked like one question to her. Now compare that to my interaction and you'll see what I mean. Do owners impersonate their rabbit's characteristics? I can say that me, my family, and my friends have done stuff like that such as doing rabbit noises like grunting or thumping. But that's an inside joke because we have a rabbit and it's not in a serious sense. However, a family friend of ours comes over with her two children sometimes and one kid is a toddler and the other kid is old enough to understand basic stuff like rabbits and what to expect with them, but it is still a small child. Sometimes both of the kids like to impersonate the rabbit's characteristics and bounce around. We make sure to calm them down when necessary so that they don't stress out the rabbit. 